Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. David Pendleton here covering hole number two of the 4th of July tournament. And I got a nice hole in one to show you. Two different replays here. Okay, first replay, we start off with the lower wind drop. We're going to go uh, two and a half mile per hour wind. No matter what your wind strength is, two bars of side spin to the right combined with 2.8 bars of back spin. Once you've uh, set your spin, now you can look to get your green inner ring against the rough line, a ball guide line going through the hole dead center. Make sure you get that needle pointing exactly north. Make your pull at 0%. Hit a perfect ball, and this thing should drop into the hole for you very nicely. We have replay number two coming up here, which is going to be in the mid-level wind ring, but you can see this one comes in dead center. All right, so that was 2.5 mile per hour wind. This next one is going to be 3.4 mile per hour wind. Uh, the good news is I did not have to change my setup at all. Sometimes as the wind increases, even in rookie, we need to offset a little bit to account for the wind push. But here, not at all. I just set my spin, put the green inner ring right here on the rough line, matching the ball guide line going through the middle of the cup all the way through the back of it. Get that wind arrow blown exactly north. Zero percent at mid. Now the highest wind that I had was 3.6 and it dropped in 3.6 as well. Um, so again, you know, I don't know what happens if your wind is any higher than that, but I can tell you 3.6 and below, this thing is dropping basically dead center again without having to make any tweaks on the setup. All right, everybody, that is hole number two. Best of luck there. I hope you hit perfect and get your drop. I'll see you soon for hole number three. Thanks, everybody.